people today in Gaza fear, uh, are in constant fear of violent death and they fear of losing everything they possess in one minute. We have a 120 strong team uh, based in Gaza working round the clock and committed to make a real difference for the people in need. Uh, we have of course scaled up our operations. Uh, just to name a few, on the medical front, uh, we have been coordinating over the past days uh, the movement of ambulances of the Palestine Red Crescent uh, Society uh, across the Gaza Strip. Uh, let us not forget that uh, the Palestine Red Crescent volunteers have been able to treat more than 70% of the people uh, wounded uh, recently. Uh, we have already facilitated the, the transfer of 12 truckload of medical supplies that are badly needed in the hospitals in, in Gaza. Uh, our technicians and engineers were also very active in the field of water supply, repairing pipes, networks, installations, and able to restore water supply in entire neighborhoods. This is an important priority for us. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost direct access to water supply. Uh, more than 2,000 houses were damaged partially or completely, and our teams are distributing kits uh, for families uh, to help them improve their sheltering conditions. Gaza should not be taken in isolation. The situation in the West Bank is extremely tense. There are humanitarian needs uh, there, and the rockets are still falling uh, on Israel. Uh, an important uh, share of our work is to support uh, the activities of the Palestine Red Crescent Society and Magen David Adom, whose volunteers are coping with extremely difficult conditions on the ground. Every civilian wounded or killed is one too many. Uh, the way uh, hostilities are conducted is a, is a major concern for the ICRC. We have intens intensified our contact with the parties to the conflict and based on very concrete incidents on the ground, we are reminding them of their responsibilities under international humanitarian law. Uh, we know that civilians pay the highest price for the conflict, but our realistic aim is to reduce the level of the suffering wherever and whenever we can in real time. Without your help, we are not in a position to help the hundreds of thousands of people in Gaza in dire need of our help. In July, we were short of 16.4 million Swiss francs. We need this amount urgently to be able to pursue our operation. And even if the conflict stops tomorrow, the humanitarian needs are immense. And our assessment is that with the new uh, ground military operation, the humanitarian needs will be on the rise and unfortunately civilians will pay a higher cost uh, of all this and we will have to scale up again our humanitarian response. So in short, we need your support and we thank you very much for this.